Guys, do you know plants also have defense mechanism like us that prevents entry of the pathogen, spread of the pathogen and causes growth retardation? Do you want to know more interesting facts related to this defense mechanism? Then stay with me. Hello guys, welcome to Think Forward. This is Trishta and today I'll talk about hypersensitive reaction in plants. So let's talk about it. First of all, what we have to know uh, is that what hypersensitive reaction actually is. It is a kind of defense mechanism that occurs in plants. It occurs only in incompatible combinations. What I am saying is incompatible combinations. That means uh, uh, this reaction occurs only after infection, like after infection by bacteria, fungi, viruses and some nematodes. So it occurs only after infection. When we talk about the scientist involved in the whole process, in the whole reaction, the first scientist came in our mind is a stack man in the year 1915. He worked on wheat plant for so many years and uh, uh, studied the infection of Puccinia graminis trigesi on it. And he noticed that several dead tissues are found at the site of infection and the cells located near vicinity of the, at the site of infection, uh, that cells are also affected by this reaction. So that's how he discovered hypersensitive reaction. Uh, these are the spots that appears on the leaves and other surfaces of the plant so that uh, the invading pathogen cannot enter the whole plant body. The patches of dead tissues are found around the pathogen uh, so that the pathogen cannot affect the whole plant. So the pathogen cannot move further and the growth of the pathogen uh, can be prohibited by this reaction. So this is a kind of resistance uh, that occurs uh, due to extreme sensitivity of the plant tissues due to which characteristic necrotic lesions develop. Necrotic lesions are kind of uh, patches of dead tissues uh, that occurs and that are started to develop at the site of infection. Uh, so these uh, necrotic lesions are very necessary step at the, uh, for the uh, prohibition of the pathogen entry. Uh, some examples uh, include some obligate parasites like rusts and powdery mildews that are easily seen in our surroundings. So powdery mildews and rusts are more common examples of hypersensitive reactions. Other examples include late blight of potato. This is the hypersensitive reaction that occurs in the late blight potato leaf. And this one is the hypersensitive reaction that occurs in the tuber. The next uh, example is wart disease of potato that is caused by Synchytrium endobioticum and this wart like swelling prevents the entry of the pathogen to the this side. So the whole potato tuber can be protected and this pathogen is prohibited in this area. So this is a kind of defense mechanism that protects the plants or tuber or fruits. Another example is the apple scab disease. Apples got these uh, warts and these uh, uh, patches are developed in apple. Uh, this is a kind of hypersensitive reaction that uh, protects the whole fruit. And this one is the powdery mildew. These are the most common examples that are, can be easily seen in our surroundings. Uh, besides this, a number of physiological changes are occurring in infected cells and in adjacent cells. So the physiological changes also includes uh, the nutrient demand, the oxygen demand, and some uh, in Internal changes occurs in plants, not only the dead tissues are formed after infection, also several changes are found in the hypersensitive reactions and most common. Such so changes uh, in hypersensitive reactions includes loss of permeability of cell membrane. Cell membrane permeability is completely lost uh, so that the pathogen cannot enter uh, from cell to cell interaction. And increased respiration, respiratory rate is uh, so much increased and an accumulation and oxidation of phenolic compounds, production of phytoalexins and others. Phytoalexins are in general not produced in plants but are produced after infection by fungi or other pathogen. Uh, so these are the chemical substances that are found in plants and synthesized after infection. The end result of all these is death and collapse of the infected and perhaps a few surrounding cells. As I said earlier, uh, the uh, dead tissues are formed at the site of infection but this, due to this reaction, the normal adjacent cells are also affected and died. Uh, that's why its name is hypersensitive reaction. After that, the pathogen can be isolated by necrotic tissues and die quickly. The reaction occurs in all the types of infections like fungal, bacterial and uh, viral pathogens. So all the types of infection, this uh, hypersensitive reaction is most common and it is a kind of defense mechanism overall. Uh, we can see it is a kind of defense mechanism that protects the whole plant body. So this is all for today. In the next video, I'll talk about some other topic or other series. Until that, stay tuned. Thank you so much.